Well, my next guest is a photographic artist who's captured everyone from movie stars to the top athletes of the world. But his world changed when he became the official photographer for the Donald Trump presidential campaign. His behind-the-scenes account in words and pictures is called Trumpography, how biblical principles pave the way to the American presidency. It became both a bestseller and the most censored book on the internet because it was too positive about Donald Trump. Would you please welcome Gene Ho. Gene, thank you for coming. It's great having great you here. Great to have here. you. Yeah. First of all, how did you end up meeting Donald Trump and becoming his photographer for the campaign? No, Governor, here's the thing, is like back then it wasn't really like a, a big thing, it's huge now. But like I just, they just called me up, I showed up, and it's like four years later, like I'm famous for it. <laughs> and the crazy thing, I was in Reno, Nevada, and this girl comes up to me, goes, oh, I know you, you're, you're, and I said, Gene Ho. <laughs> and she goes, no, you're the lead singer of the band Journey. <laughs> <laughs> Did they call you because they'd seen your photography for all of these other no, celebrities? Uh, basically, I saw them in a convention, and uh -huh. there was, everyone was there. It was, um, Ted Cruz was there, Ben Carson. So I was like, oh, Donald Trump's there. And so I took pictures of him, didn't think anything of it, but I sent it back to his people. Uh -huh. I can't believe it, like, three weeks later, I get a, a letter saying from Donald Trump himself, Gene loved the photos, and I, I couldn't believe it. So then they invited me to the first campaign stop. This was like three months before he even started running. They invited me to shoot. And so I was there for the rest of the time till, till the very last day of the campaign, the whole, whole time. You know, the book that you've done is, is really not just a photography book. There's a lot of photos in it, but it's Correct. about, and, and this is the interesting subtitle, how biblical principles pave the way to the American presidency. Now that's gonna be a shocker uh, when people say, what biblical principles? Right. No. I didn't set out to write this. When I had the picture, I had, thought it was gonna be a picture book, and I was gonna put some stories in it, and lo and behold, as I started reading the Bible, and I wasn't a big, huge Bible reader, I was like, whoa, maybe Donald Trump is using the playbook from the Bible. Things matched up to what I saw from him. Wow. What is it about Donald Trump that most people don't get? First of all, Donald Trump is perhaps one of the kindest persons. And the thing is, the difference with me is I saw him behind the scenes as a fly in the wall. I was the one standing behind watching him talk to other people. He's a charming man and he's a wonderful person and he's very nice. That's not what we get from the media. No, you think because of the fake news media. There, there's a particular story that, that you have <laughs> talked about. <laughs> My. And, and I find it very interesting. To this day, people say that he mocked a New York Times reporter and made fun of uh, a disabled person. You say that's not what totally, happened. Totally false. I was there, and everyone was there. Didn't take it the way the, the we're talking the, the sound bites from the news media. They take this small little section, and then they play it in a loop over and over, and it becomes the news. It wasn't like that. He was not doing that. But, it, but they still to this day say that he's a racist. We that have dealt with racism are hypersensitive to people uh, that are racist. You have people all over, Diamond and Silk that met him, who I, I do photography for. They love him, I love him, I can tell. When you uh, talk about the, this process of going through the campaign, were there any moments that got to you on an emotional level? There was one time that I almost got shot by Secret Service. Like, not everyone gets That's not a good shot. thing, well, yeah. Well, I'm a photographer, right? So <laughs> I saw his tie, uh -huh. and I went after his tie because I wanted it, it was crooked, so I was like this. And then Secret Service was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, stand down. I was like, no, no, stand down. <laughs> like, you know, the uh, long-haired Asian assassin is gonna go after the president. I thought you were Jackie Chan, man. I, I, I was like that, and it was like, I was like, oh, oh, oh. And then the best thing, Trump <laughs> trolled me afterwards. Trump goes, at the end of the day, he goes, Gene, is my tie straight? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you get censored so much? Because your book, I mean, a, a lot of people would just say, okay, so he has a right to write a book. You were a present, you were first row for all the things, but your book just got hammered. It, it got totally hammered. Um, book signings got canceled. I've taped um, shows where they fully taped it, interviewed me, they, it, everything was good, but it got up to the executive level and they canned the, the show. Uh. Um, online, uh, I had a bookseller that removed all my five-star reviews. It was bad, but I'm gonna tell you this, and everyone knows this, no weapon formed 
will harm us. No weapons formed. Mm. Not if you love Jesus. Uh. Not if you love Jesus. Well, I think it's a phenomenal book. I, I, I understand why it's a bestseller. It's very compelling. You tell a great story. You give us scenes that we've never seen. And I just enjoy getting to be with you. What a pleasure and I delight. I love this guy. I do, I well, love him. You're a terrific photographer. Thank you, sir. And uh, a great storyteller. Thank you, Governor. The book is called Trumpography, How Biblical Principles Pave the Way to the American Presidency. It's an inside look at Trump, the man and his campaign from someone who was actually there and who captured it all. You can learn more and purchase Trumpography at geneho.com. It's right there on your screen so you get the spelling right.